So in this second video on display list, you're going to learn how to remove a display object from the stage using remove child. And in this case, we have a spinning ball and you'll roll over and click a button and you click it, it's gone. So let's learn how to do that in this next section. So if it helps you in it all, you can think of a sprite basically as the first keyframe of a movie. And uh, in this particular example, basically we the ball class is extending the sprite class. And so you have this little graphic in here and you instantiate it and then you use the add child method. Now let's talk about the add child method just a little bit more. Add child method adds a visual object to the stage display object or container. The child has a parent though. And so how do you find that parent? You can do you can find the parent by using trace. So we're going to trace my ball dot parent and find out what that parent is. I'm going to tell you it's going to be the main timeline. Let's take a look at it right now. So looking back at the code, I'm going to come along here and just add a trace statement. Trace. I'm going to go um, my ball dot parent and let's see what we get. There it is, says object main timeline. So uh, just a way to find out what the parent of the ball is. Very simple trick, but uh, it can come in useful. So let's get out of this and go back to the next step. Um, let's take a look at remove child. And basically, this takes the visual object off the stage. So let me say this real quick. It's real important. Just removing a child off the stage doesn't necessarily mean you've cleared the CPU of its memory. And so that's something we're going to go into in the book later on. But there's a few other things you need to do, especially remove the listener from that child as well. But let's just go on with this example here, and we'll get in more detail as we go on in the book. So let's come along here, and let's look at the remove child code that we're going to do. We're actually going to add the ball to the stage, we've done so far. And we put a little button on the stage, and when we click it, we're going to remove that, basically by referring to the instance name, my ball. So we're going to remove the ball from the stage, using remove child, referring to the my ball instance name. Let's do that right now. So we're back in the code for the 19 lines you know we had done earlier that we've been modifying now. And what we want to do is we've added this ball to the stage. We want to remove it when we click a button called Remove Button. So as you recall from an earlier video, we're basically going to create a button on the main stage and we're going to give the instance name Remove Button. And when you click that, it's a mouse event and it, you're going to run the method take away. And it's really simple. You just in that function take away that runs when you click it, you have the remove child button and it basically removes it by instance name. So let's go ahead and go to the stage, create that button, and then uh, give it the instance name remove button and let's see if this code works. So we're going to go back to the stage. Let's bring it up real quick. And let's go ahead and put a button on that stage. We'll put it up here at the top. And I'm just going to create a graphic. So I'm going to come along here and uh, let me move over here so you can see it. And you can make it whatever you want to. Let's make it a nice little square. And it's got a little uh, oval in there. We could change it if we want to, but let's just leave it like that. I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to come up here to uh, the main timeline. And go Control, excuse me, Modify. And we're going to convert this to a symbol. And we're gonna, this time we're going to choose Button, and we'll just call it My Button. And we'll go to Button. And uh, we could put some special effects here if you want to as we've done in a previous chapter. I can actually double click on that so it looks a little bit more interesting. So when I click on it, hold on, I should be in the button stage. I want to go to the timeline actually of the button. So let's go to the timeline. So I'm in the timeline of my button. So I'll hit F6 a few times so I can get some extra keyframes there going on. And I want to modify it so when it ch it'll change to a different color or something when I roll over it. There we go, we can see that right, correct? correct. And let's just choose something from the drop down menu. And you can't see that, so I'm gonna bring it down so you can see it, just pardon me, I just want you to be able to see all this stuff. So I'll just double click on that. And let's do something a little different, we'll call it, make it green. And uh, not very fancy there, but it kind of shows you how it goes. And so you can see when you roll over one or the other, you're gonna get a change, okay? Good, let's go back uh, to the main scene. And we're not done yet because you need to give this button an instance name so the code can refer to it using dot syntax. So let's come along here and go to um, the properties panel. So you're going to come up here to the Windows menu and go to properties. And you want to put the instance name that you referred to in your code. So let's do that real quick. So if you recall, the instance name was, I've actually got it in my clipboard here, remove button. So that's good. 
And let's run the code and see what happens. We got an error here. Let's fix that real quick. Let's see what it says. Undefined property. Remove button dot mouse dot take away. Let's see what's wrong with that. Let's double click on that. It does not like this. Let's see what's wrong with that. Well, one thing you see is your takeaway has a capital A here and it has a small a here. Spelled right, but wrong capitalization. As you remember, flash is capitalized sensitive, so case sensitive. So you got to make sure you get your cases right. Let's go to run this and see if we get another error. And we don't. And there's our ball spinning around and around on the stage. Let me open this up a little bit. And what we're going to do is click it and hope that when we click it, the ball does disappear. So let's click on it. And it's gone. So remove child works. And that's the end of this tutorial.